What's up guys, it's No Nod, your Universal Champion on YouTube, and I'm soon to be your WWE Champion on YouTube. And I know I haven't made a video in the past week, but today I am back with another video, and today's video is going to be a Top 10 Superstar of the Week. And it goes from last Monday Night Raw to this week's Monday Night Raw. Not Monday Night Raw is... So, well, Monday Night Raw is tomorrow, but I'm still gonna do the video, so I don't have to, so I don't make this video tomorrow. Um, and so first on the list at number ten, we have the last kicker, Becky Lynch at number ten. Um, the reason why she wasn't on the honorable mentions list is because she did beat up Charlotte Flair. Um this week on SmackDown Live, so that got her in the top 10 slot. That got her in the number 10 slot on this week's top 10. Next up, we have the Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins. Um, Seth Rollins, um, he was in the number 9 slot because he did do an open challenge, and he did successfully win, but, but, um, Later on in the show, he did get beat up by Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre, and Braun Strowman. So that's why he was not closer and higher on this list. Next up, we have the acting general manager, Baron Corbin. I put Baron Corbin um, number eight on this list because he, I hate to say it, but he is doing a good job as acting general manager. Um, and even though I don't like some of the decisions he has had, he has had, he has made as acting general manager, he's doing pretty good, and he did win his match against Finn Balor this week on Raw. Next up, we have the new number one contenders for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. We do have the bar at the number seven slot. I put the bar at number seven because... They did win their number one contendership match, but it's like, really, their number one contenders uh, again? I really hope that, like, new people like the Colognes, like, the ba the Good Brothers, um, like, the Usos, like, I hope that new teams, like, Sanity, like, new teams like that, even though the Usos aren't new team, but, like, people that are not have been getting chances at the titles, hopefully they get... Title chances soon, so we don't have to see the the New Day versus the Bar, New Day versus Usos, blah blah blah, over and over and over. And I hope that we have new challengers coming up for those tag team titles. Next up at the number six slot, we have Roman Reigns, the Universal Champion, is at number six. I put him at number six because he did lose his match. He wait no, he did win his match. But he got beat up by Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre, and Braun Strowman. So that's why he is at the number six slot. And hopefully next week, maybe he can go higher on the list and be maybe at number one like he was last week. Next up, we have The Miz. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. And we have Maurice. I put them at the number... Five slot because they they didn't really they didn't have a match as you guys seen but they did beat up Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella and I just put them at the number six slot because I mean the number five is because they did that if you guys disagree with me oh well it's my list um next up at the number four slot we have Samoa Joe I put Samoa Joe at the number four slot because he got mind games into he got mind games into AJ Styles' mind. You, sh I would say, um, and he was phone call. He was having a phone call with AJ Styles' wife Wendy, and it was just really. Like, mine, it was a really good mind game that he did, and I wonder who's going to win at Hell in a Cell, and I wonder who's going to win at Super Showdown, because it said they're going to have another match at Super Showdown, and I wonder who's going to win, and it's going to be amazing. 
Number three, we have Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. I'm surprised. And I'm glad that they're in the top ten now because last week um, Dolph was just at the honorable mentions and I was not happy about that. But this week, them two have really proved themselves to get on the list and have really stepped it up in my book. And so, since they beat up the Shield, and I am, that's why they are number three on the list. Next up at the number two slot, we have Charlotte Flair at the number two. And she did really good in that match that she had against, um, she did really, yeah, Charlotte Flair is number two. She did really good in that match uh, against Carmella, and she did retain her title. And that was, that, and it was a good match. It was a good match, but then after the match, she got beat up by Becky Lynch, and that got her number two slot. She could have been number one, but if she didn't get beat up by Becky Lynch, she would have been probably number one. And before we get to the number one slot, I have some honorable mentions. First up, we have one half of the Iconics. We have Billy K. I put Billy K because she did win her match this week against Naomi. Number four, we have Dean Ambrose. I put him number four because he did win his match, but he didn't really do anything else this week. At the number three slot, I have I have Carmella. It was Carmella or Lashley, and I decided to put Carmella there because she didn't really do good in her match, but unfortunately she lost, but it was a really good match, and she did a lot of good things in that match. So next up at the number two slot, we have Kevin Owens. He did lose his match, but it was an amazing thing he have, he did after the match. Is that he, he just uttered two words, I quit, and it got people speculating. Maybe he was going to go to All In. Maybe he, was, he actually quit, and it got people thinking of what he was going to do. And at the number one slot on the honorable mentions, we have Seth. Rollins, um, Seth Rollins, he did do his open challenge, and he did successfully retain his title. Good job on his part. But he did, unfortunately, get beat up by Dolph, Drew, and Braun um, after the main event match, and that's why he got only on the honorable mentions. And the thing you guys have been waiting for, our number one slot goes to Braun Strowman, the monster among men. I put Braun Strowman at the number one slot because he did win his match. And he beat up um, the Shield with the help of Drew and Dolph. And he is doing really good recently. And I think he's getting a monster push, no pun intended. Um, and he is really he's been re doing really good recently on Monday Night Raw, and so that's why I put him at the number one slot. Hopefully you guys like this video. It has been an amazing week in WWE. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, champs.